I recently made a video where I compared the pass-through abilities of a mini DV camcorder and a digital 8 camcorder. Now, my conclusion was that they were more or less the same, but I threw in an extra test at the end. I compared one of those DV pass-through devices with the ATI All-in-Wonder 9600 XT. And I concluded, that's the third bullet there, I concluded that the ATI 9600 produces more accurate color than the DV pass-through. Tech TV USA said that uh, DV25 is not going to make something orange turn red, like you're expecting. What makes matters worse is that you insist your ATI products are color accurate and the DV products are not, yet you have no way to test out your theory. I have videos demonstrating that the ADVC 110 and the Intensity Shuttle are color accurate. You have seen those videos and commented on them, yet you are ignoring the information. I know a lot of people are telling you your videos are really good, but they are severely flawed. Here is the video that he was referring to. On the left, you can see the uh, DV pass-through method. On the right, you're going to see the ATI 9600 uh, method. The ATI method uh, produces a tide container that looks like the tide container in real life. So his argument is that it doesn't matter what the tide container looks like in real life. All that matters is whether or not the digital 8 DV output is faithful to what that camcorder captured. Now, it could be that the camcorder captures everything a little bit more red. Okay, as long as it's faithfully transferring what the lens sees and what the camera sees inside, then that is a win. Now, I don't have an intensity shuttle, but I do have an SVHS player that can take an input through S-Video and can output in two different ports. And here is what I found. On the right is the Sony CRT television. I'm recording this with my iPhone 14. I'm also recording with the iPhone 14, the um, Samsung 15-inch uh, monitor on the left side. Uh, it has virtual dub open and it's um, being fed the same video as the one that's going out to the TV. Uh, at the top is the previously uh, transferred digital 8 playback of high 8 footage. And at the bottom is the digital 8 uh, playback of high 8 footage, but sent to the all-in-wonder 9600 XT via S-Video cable. Now, the Sony TV, CRT TV, is giving us a brighter image. And I think that's because you sort of see those little rainbow lines all throughout. You can sort of see them on the table and so on. It's making parts of the video and parts of the Tide container look brighter. To me, the orange that's present on the CRT television is identical, almost the same, as the All-in-Wonder 9600, and very different from the Digital 8 playback. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you can think of a better way to do this experiment with the equipment I have on hand, uh, let me know, and I will try that out. Thanks.